One, two, three, SCA! Looking at this situation here, where we're working, and he's got a grip, it's a very common judo grip. I tend to go for this grip behind the elbow, but a lot of judo guys like this grip here, and they can use this to really dominate my arm down and really work to get their, their throws going. A lot of times when I'm trying to break this grip, I use a dramatic back step to really break this, and I'm going to use this to come back in at him. But the problem is, I've got quite a lot of ground to cover. So as I'm coming back in, he's got all that time to defend and look for his defense. So what's useful to me is sometimes to be able to leave this foot in here. So we see, we're in this match stance. His right foot's forward, my right foot's forward. I'm going to break this grip. If I just pull this back, this is as far as I could go. I could like keep your arm out. So this might not be enough to break the grip. But I can create that extra two or three inches by pushing off him, by bracing off him. So as I pull this back, without stepping this foot back, I brace him backwards to get enough space to break this grip. The reason I'm breaking this grip is so that I can come back inside. I'm trying to close the distance. All the time I'm out here, we're very matched. It's hard for me to actually get anything going. It's easy for him to defend. I want to glue myself to him to get my throws working. So I'm going to break this grip and then I'm going to step in. See my hip is bashing into his hip. I step in and this foot comes in. I'm going to circle this foot and just drive with the ogosh, taking him to the ground. So this is a powerful takedown and I'm using it to break the grip, come in, sweep this leg and then drive and put him onto the ground. Coming on to what we're working on on the ground, we, we've been working butterfly guard, so this gentleman's down in my butterfly guard. Drop, drop. From here, we've saw, saw some great things, but what sometimes happens, I lose my positional dominance for a bit, his head gets low, he drives me flat, and he stands up. In this position now, he is very dangerous to me, because he could pin my feet down and Toriana pass me, or control me. So I need to react to this. And this would be a situation where I will typically go to the X guard. So to go to the X guard, I'll pick a leg. I'm gonna swing my hand under, and I wanna get all the way onto my shoulder. This leg stays in at the knee. The other leg, my foot's up at his hip. So this X is the X that my legs are making. And my knees are out and pulling, so I'm strong against his legs here. And I control this position by stretching him out. The further I stretch him out, the more unbalanced he's going to be. My first and most simple stretch is a sweep from here. I'm going to look up here and control the tension, like I'm trying to rip his knee cap to the outside, which he loves because he's had surgery on his knee. My right foot is going to slide to the ground. I'm going to open this and I'm going to roll that way, pushing it my head. When we hit the ground, this foot comes up in the air to control. I am going to come up, but I'm going to be very careful not to just shoot this arm up in between. If I come up here, I'm coming straight into a triangle. Don't want to do that. So, I'm going to come up with both arms underneath into a double under. That's how I'm going to pass the guard. So that's my first sweep from the X guard. Second sweep. When I get to here, what will happen a lot, this hand is going to come down and try and control this knee. It's natural. It's right there. Everybody loves to control inside the knee. It's a very natural thing for him to look for. I'm going to reach for his sleeve, and I'm going to rip this across. And I'm going to pass it to my other hand here. I come up to his lapel, and now I can lift and turn him and dump him on the ground. As I come up here, I'm going to stay really tight. I can come straight up into a gift run, straight up into attacking position two. So that's my second sweep from this position. My third 
sweep from this position. I'm going to lift him and plant him this way. When I plant him this way, this leg gets light. So this foot can go to the ground and I can come up. There, there's a number of ways that I could drive him over. So I come up with the exact motion of my technical stamina. My third sweep. Fourth one. You can see, look, I could drop straight into this position. My fourth one is pretty similar, but instead of pushing him so far that this comes all the way off, I just get him a little bit light on this leg. And I could just pass that. Then I can swim inside, I reach for his belt, my knee comes around, kick, drop. Come up into my choke. You'll notice when I take the back, I'm not gonna come seat belt and then come and look for chip grips. When I come here, if I go seat belt, he's gonna defend straight away. Now the battle's on. The second I stick him on the ground, I come here, my hand's looking for his shoulder, that knee's gonna be there. I can go straight into my choking attacks. It cuts out his defense. No gi. I'm just going to go straight for this. One final thing I wanted to look at is as we're going through these techniques, X guard's great for sweeps, but there are also submissions. As I'm looking for this, for instance, he grips this, grips this pad. When I rip this across here, and I control here. It's very easy, look, if I slide my knee across him and step up, I'm going straight into an arm bar there. Very powerful, you know? As I'm switching past him on these legs, as I switch these past, I could come straight into leg attacks. I could come straight up and turn him into triangles. The whole point being, he wants to be defensive by being arms into his body into this kind of defensive shell. What do we do when we put someone in the, uh, in the uh, X guard? We get them up and open and wobbly. Bits of their body are gonna stick out as they become unbalanced and they're gonna allow us to attack them. So we're looking to unbalance and sweep. While we're doing that, things are gonna open up for us to attack. Thanks for helping out the training.